So Dreadwood Dirge and Hit the High Notes are extremely good format altering cards, but they're also just the tip of the iceberg for the Runeblade class coming out of Rosetta. So with Chain already knocking on Ira's door, are these new cards enough to push him, or maybe one of the other Runeblades, into serious contention within the format? A huge shout out to our channel members for supporting what we do here. If you want to get involved with the channel and the Dice Commando community, please consider joining as a channel member. Remember, these videos are only possible with your support. You can show that support with a like, a subscribe, and by leaving us a comment and sharing your feedback. Community first, and go Commando! Hey there, my flesh and blood friends. Welcome back to Dice Commando, and go again, a fabulous cast. And thanks for tuning in for another installment of Dice Commando here on the channel. And yes, that's right, we have to talk the Runeblade commons coming out of Rosetta spoiler season. I think it was the first crack. We had the commons hit for the Runeblades, and oh boy, there's some doozies. Now, that's not to say there's not some doozies for Earth and stuff like that. I think Rosetta, I think Rosetta might be very significantly changing for Commoner, more so than what we saw in Part of Fail. But we'll see. But I, I want to go over that today because I think there's some doozies. There's some doozies. So let's go ahead and put into context before we go in this where the Runeblade sat previously. Okay, we had Chain who was, you know, if not a tier one, a tier 1.5 within the format, had won, to my knowledge, two of the commoner gold foils, which usually is, you know, accommodates a, or goes with a calling, had happened twice in Europe. Ira, of course, was dominating North America, but we'd seen Europe, I believe he pulled down two of them. So Chain, very legitimate hero within the format. The common build to go with Chain is really a shrill package. And it makes a lot of sense because you can do Chain Shackle to give Shrill go again, and you essentially have the onboard bonus for that. All you need to do is somehow find out or somehow seek out a non-attack like a Seeds or something like that, and then you can Rosetta on the end off of three. Pretty decent, and then you have other shenanigans in the middle depending on what you banished. But that's the core of the deck. Okay, fair enough. Now if we go into the other Rune Blades, Briar was okay, good not great. She Her best build, in my opinion, was like a go tall build with like stir my wildwood and all that. Um, it was okay. She didn't really have like the, obviously didn't have the CMH. It was a little harder for her to go wide. And then that problem actually cascades down to the other two, right? Vincent and Viserai. Viserai has really always struggled in the format. It's just because with the non-attacks he had available, basically other people. It's not that he himself was bad, it's just that everybody else did it better. So it's like, if I'm going to do this, why wouldn't I do this, right? And then said again, it's just kind of a lack of stuff available in terms of, you know, the the toolkit, right? Because most of them are rare. Most of the key cards are rare or, or higher, right? For your, your rune gate stuff, that's what I'm trying to say. So overall, the class was, it was fine with Chain leading the way. But now... Let's cut forward to, I'll go ahead and throw up throw up the thing at this point. But let's go ahead and cut forward to some of the spoilers that we've seen. So the big one is, I think this is the biggest one, and it's not the biggest one by far, but stick with me. So Hit the High Notes is a shrill. It's a one-cost shrill. So, if, so for one, it's, it's a one for four, three, two, blocks three, which is awesome. And if you've played or created an aura this turn, this gets plus two, right? So it's, it's, a, it's a baby shrill. So let's just put this in context. On chain, off a shackle and a blue pitch, you could actually go shrill high notes or, or reverse, right? Play both of them because you would have created the aura, giving one go again into the other one. So that's a three card hand on the two reds for 13. Three card hand. Creating a shrill, or uh, sorry, a shackle, which you wanted to do anyway. That's pretty good. Okay, and now you just very much increase the number of effective shrills you have in the deck. So I, I, I think this one is not, I, I, I know this to be true, that this card is massive within the commoner format. Now let's skip down to the other one that is also I know to be true. This is massive. So Dreadwood Dirge, destroy an aura you control if you do create three rune chant tokens. So this is good for basically everybody, maybe not Briar. Maybe not Briar. Depends on if you wanna uh depends on if you wanna, you know, kill your embodiment and all that. Seems like a fair payoff, but you'd have to count on it anyway. Now imagine this in chain where he can just you could destroy a shackle 
Sometimes that's, you know, early, that might not be what you want to do, to be fair. But that's pretty good value. You know, you're sitting at two, three shackles. Yeah, go back to two. Extend the game a little bit. Throw three rune chants at them. Oh my god. And you can just destroy rune chant to create three more. And if you're Viscerai, well, you just backfilled on the card. So, lots of, lots of stuff going on here. This card, that's why I said, I think high notes, more important in terms of format warping, but only only by a little bit. So now let's look at what else we got here. So we have Hocus Pocus. So it's a 3 and when this attacks, create a rune chant token, which is pretty cool. So if you have, you know, like Viscerai would actually create two rune chants off this, assuming, of course, he'd done what he wanted to do. Uh, meet and Greets reprinted, which is pretty hot. Now let's talk Rune Rager Swarm. If you've played or created an aura this turn, this gets go again. Now, I don't know that this makes it into Chain, I just don't think there's room because what Chain's playing right now basically is, you know, if you look at him today, he's playing Shrill, rain, Rainbow Shrill, Rainbow Bounding, and Rainbow Rift Bind. Might not be room in there. Um, I mean, you could maybe, maybe. And obviously, right, you wouldn't want to Shrill into this. You'd sh Sorry, not Shrill. You wouldn't want to Shackle into this. You'd Shackle into something else and then this and then you know, you get it. So maybe there, I mean, I, I think that that's certainly a Viscerae card for sure. And there's a lot of other heroes that'll take advantage of that as well. All right, now we have this one, which is Arcane Cussing. So for one, go again, when your deal or dealt damage, destroy this. When this leaves the arena during your turn, create three rune chant tokens. It of itself is an aura. So you can immediately see that Cussing goes into Dirge, right? You could actually Cussing Dirge, but, uh, you know, you're going to be throwing a lot of rune chants and stuff like that. It shouldn't be too hard to punch one damage through somewhere and then just create three more. Seems, you know, the, the one is interesting. I, I think I think this one's good. I think, not I think, I, I'm confident this one will see play. I don't know, again, for like, if we're talking about top tier for like Chain in that example, I, I don't know that Chain plays this. In fact, I'm pretty sure he doesn't because you're already trying to figure out how to fit in Dreadwood Dirge which that itself shouldn't be too hard. There's a lot of kind of wonky non-attack spots that are being filled in that, right? You could, in theory, for the the payoff, you could take out a lead to charge or something like that. But hit the high notes is for certain going in there. And I think maybe you do have to go take out some rift binds to make room for that. So that'll be interesting to see what the deck lists end up at. We'll play around with it a bit. Um, actually, I'll commit next next week. I'll be back with a chain list, at least a new chain list, at least a first stab at it, and we'll we'll see how that goes. Uh, a couple interesting things. We already talked about meet and greet being derated. Uh, no, not derated. Reprinted. Excuse me. But Oath of the Arknight was derated. So Oath of the Arknight is now a common. Was previously a rare. And this one's interesting. Maybe in Viscerite only. Maybe. Maybe. Actually. 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 I suppose Vincent could, in theory, use this in Commoner. I, I mean, obviously, I don't believe... I mean, they weren't using it. Actually, I, I have seen some people play, playing a couple of the blues, actually. Uh, I don't think it's super common, but I have seen people play... <laughs> pun intended. Uh, not intended. I, I've seen a couple blues, but I don't think it's, it's super prevalent. But I could see in Commoner maybe giving this a shot. Maybe Viscerai plays it also. Maybe, but the twos, the two cost is rough. So, and then we have Sigil of Deadwood. Go again at the beginning of your action phase, destroy this one. It leaves the arena, create a rune chant token. In, in and in of itself is a rune blade. So you would, you know, with this right, you'd get one. Um, eh, I don't, I don't, I mean, it's a blue, which is nice. I don't, I don't know that that makes it in though. Uh, let's go ahead and go back up to the equipment. Nothing to write home here about, but so destroy this and an aura you control to gain one. You know, I I guess the plays there is like if you want to deshackle, and again, I don't I don't know that you do want to do that, but it's one on board. But it seems to me that with the other iron weave, I, I don't really know. Actually, I don't think at all you would play this, but because the other iron weaves worth two resources on a, you know, you have to have done the thing to trigger it, but. I don't think this one makes it. And this one is interesting. So it's just action, destroy this, create a rune chant token. So, you know, Chain right now is playing Goliath Gauntlet um, because it works with Shrill. So that's pretty decent. 
This one, though, for other heroes to be able to create the aura in a pinch, this is kind of interesting, actually, right? So it creates an aura to trigger things, and it gives you one value, maybe, depending on what other they're pitching for. But this one is interesting. Kind of wish, you know, I mean, obviously we wish it had battle one or something like that, but this is very clearly a, you know, more focused for limited. So anyway, there you have it. I think, I think this is a big deal. I will go ahead and shut this down, but I, I can't see chain not getting significantly better off of this, right? I, it's the, I, being able to run double, I mean, the, the shrill is his thing and like, Maybe you don't even play yellow shrill anymore. Maybe you go red, red shrill, red high note, red and red and blue of each is what I'm saying. And then you drop maybe like a yellow riff bind, maybe something like that. Maybe that's the play to find the room. Finding the non-attack room is not a problem. Um, interesting. So anyway, I'll, I'll be back next week. I'll give a first crack at it and then you all can tell me why I'm wrong and how we can improve it, but then we can move forward together. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. The Rune Lake comments are, if it's any indicator of, I mean, if the commons are any indicator of the power level of the set, I think we could have, it's not going to be, I don't think, Misfail level. But it, it does indicate, you know, a com, com, I always fundamentally believe that commons set the baseline for power level, right? It is And I mean, it, that's not always true because, you know, you have explosivity on the top end. But it is a signpost, right? If, if they go in and the commons are pretty good compared to what we've seen in the past it just makes sense that you have to iterate on that so when you come in and you have something like this that really i believe is going to change the you know i'm not saying that ninja is not going to still be good not what i'm saying but when you're really elevating other classes in there what do you have to do next set you have to elevate somebody else so i i think it really i think we definitely have another signpost here for power creep especially when you add in the fact that we're seeing some pretty crazy life gain on the earth side. We will see how it all ends up playing out. So anyway, folks, that'll do it. Go Commando and go Commando.